one thing that Mimaraki is doing great is bringing art artists of uh, different from different traditions from different parts of India onto one platform, which is very important for us to look at because uh, gone are those days where we would go to a Delhi hut or a True Nature's Bazaar in Delhi or to a you know an exhibition in in Calcutta or anywhere to an art gallery to look at art. Uh, very few can do that or will do that. I, I would say. I am Vaishali and I am a, a theatre artist. I also am a drama educator. Um, I run an organisation uh, for children where we use drama and the arts uh, to work with life skills. So art has always been a very uh, a core element in, in my life as we have grown up. Um, because I was born in Calcutta and you know when you're born in a Bengali family there are certain things that you have to do like you have to learn how to sing, you have to learn how to dance and you have to do drama. Uh, and also um, from a very early age uh, our parents would take us, uh, my sister and I, we would go to art exhibitions, music uh, you know, concerts, uh, theatre productions and we would watch them and there was a lot of art that we consumed uh, as we were growing up. Uh, so it became very natural for us to pick this up as uh, our profession. And uh, both of us, my sister and I, are into the arts. She's a dancer, I'm an actress, and uh, we also work with children. So art is, is, has been there with us for a very long time, and I hope that uh, we are able to give this out to other children and other people around us as well. I was introduced to Pitch by Art many, many years ago. Uh, it was actually, uh, we went for an exhibition when I must be in school. And uh, there was this artist who was teaching how to draw uh, the cow, the Pitch by cow, um, in that exhibition. And we were very young then. So he called us and he made us sit and he made us you know, also draw the pitch by, you know, the cow. And we did a little bit, I don't remember what, how much, but we did something. But that image stayed with me. And pitch by is all about, uh, you know, the, the kind of colours that they use, the pastel shades, very soothing to your eyes. And I wanted something soothing for my new, you know, uh, this is a new apartment we came into. And I thought that we should, uh, you know, the, the living room should have something which is soothing and really magical. So, the first thing that came to my mind was that flying cow. Uh, pitch fly has clouds. It, you feel that they're flying. And then I uh, went through uh, whatever we had um, on the website, uh, you had on the website. And once I was scrolling, I saw this particular painting. It's, it was beautiful. It had a bluish tinge to it and there were some cows there uh, bathing, some cows were flying in the clouds. So it was a very magical uh, motif that I saw and I felt that no, this should be there in my living room uh, because it has water and it has air and there are um, fairies and there are garlands. So it's a beautiful painting and that's why I wanted that painting uh, to be with me and also it was telling us some kind of a story um, and every time I look at the painting I see a story so I won't fix it to one story that it tells but every time it's it's a different story and uh, uh, it's beautiful you just look at it and you just feel ah I'm home so yeah so that's one the Pichwai painting um, the other two are just behind me. These are uh, Kalighat paintings. So I'm a Bengali. I, I live very close to Kalighat. I live in, my parents live in uh, Tondiganj. So um, Kalighat metro station has a lot of Kalighat paintings. And uh, during school time, uh, during my school days, uh, we used to uh, take the metro, uh, the, the tube in Calcutta um, to travel. and. We would get down at Kaligat station and walk from there, walk back home from there, uh, just so that, you know, uh, we could 
sit there and sit on the benches and on the platform and look at the Kaligat paintings, which were there in the inside the station. So I li- I lo- I love Kaligat painting. And the reason I bought these two, uh, the Kalighat is very, Kalighat painting is um, is very contemporary in nature. And the, the new painters who come, come in, they keep giving us new um, narratives, which are very contemporary, uh, but at the same time, very traditional way of uh, painting um, the motifs. So very contemporary stories presented in very in a very traditional uh, color and very traditional style and i feel many of us are like that uh, right now in, in you know today when we i see my friends around me uh, we are somewhere modern and we are also tradition uh, traditional at the same time so it's a nice blend of modernity and traditionalism and uh, i think that um, that really uh, keeps you grounded, I feel. I feel very rooted with these Kaligat paintings. The person I was speaking to, I don't remember her name, there was a number given on the website. And usually when you call web, you know, numbers on websites, you get a very cold answer. You get answers like, okay, we are going to get back. Uh, and nowadays you, you WhatsApp on that number. So I WhatsApp on that number and I was expecting a, an automated you know, reply, uh, but it wasn't an automated reply. Um, I think there was an automated reply, and then immediately after that, uh, this girl—I uh, don't remember her name—but she got in touch, and she started having a conversation which was so open. And I never felt that I—I I was talking to her for the first time. It was very friendly. She was very friendly, and uh, she understood what I needed. Um, what was available on the website is not what I actually have on my walls right now. So I actually customized it uh, to fit my the dimensions that I wanted. Um, in fact, uh, if you see the Kaligat painting on my left, uh, that did not have the curtains. So I, I and this one, the right one had curtains. So I was like, can I, can I get curtains on that one? And she's at yes, let me ask the painter. And she asked the painter, and I think Uttam Chitrakar is the painter. Uh, and he made it for us. So I think, apart from affordability, which it is, I mean, I must say, uh, it's also the way um, the entire conversation took place. It was very friendly, very heart to heart. I did not feel that I, I was talking to her for the first time, I did not feel that I was a customer. I would say that. She did not make me feel like a customer. She made me feel like somebody whom she wanted to help uh, beautify her house. So because I wanted these for my house, I, I shared what I'm looking at. Uh, I shared my wall color and she recommended some uh, images. So I think I never felt like a customer. No, 